Hi guys, it's Crystal with Be Creative. Today we are going to make some palette knife paintings. Here's a lovely example. If you look really closely, you can see where the paint literally sticks up from the canvas, which makes a really interesting piece of artwork. So what you're gonna need for this project is you're gonna need a canvas. You're gonna need um, acrylic paint. And again, I like to use Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. Um, it is a student grade acrylic paint and I like to use Premier acrylic paint too. You're gonna need um, a paint palette, which is a fancy word for a plate or something for you to slap your paint on. Um, I, sometimes I use the ones with the individual compartments. You don't wanna do that because you're going to be using a palette knife um, so you want to have it a nice open space. Then you're going to need some palette knives. If you don't have palette knives, that's okay. I don't expect you to spend a million bajillion dollars to learn how to do this. You can go to your local craft store or you can order online from your local craft store and you can get some plastic palette knives or you can use a plastic knife. Plastic knife has an end with ridges, a flat end, and it has a wider end. So that's three different sizes that you can use to do your painting. You're gonna need a pencil to draw your picture. And then this is the most important thing. This is Liquitex Professional Gloss Super Heavy Gel. This is what you're gonna to use to mix in your paint to get these stiff ridges and peaks into your um, palette knife painting. So I use this quite a bit. If you don't have this, you might, you might, I say might, cause I have not tested this theory, um, use Mod Podge or something thick that dries clear that mixes in with your acrylic paint. Okay, are we ready to get started? All right guys, so here's my workspace. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your pencil and you are going to draw basic lines for you to follow. It does not have to look like a masterpiece. It does not have to look like a coloring page. You just want to know where things are gonna go. So I'm gonna have two flowers. So I'm gonna draw a circle and I'm just gonna draw some lines around it because I want to make my flower look like it's got movement in those directions. Okay, you're gonna do another one here, but I'm gonna have this one, this little circle there, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Some general lines telling you where you want your picture to move. So basically you're just blocking out um, your drawing or your painting. I'm gonna have a big leaf that goes here, and it's gonna be like different space lines. So I'm just drawing some really small lines. And then I'm going to have a leaf here, a leaf here, a leaf here, and another. And then I'm going to draw a leaf but I'm just gonna draw the inside of the leaf and some lines jutting out from it. And I'm gonna do the same thing right here with lines jutting out. And then, hey, why not? I'll do another one down here. So now my whole picture is drawn out. It's very hard to see, um, but you'll see as we start to add paint how it comes together. If you're going to use your uh, a plastic knife or a palette knife, you're going to want to use it sideways. You don't want to use it like this. You want to use it at a diagonal so that you can spread your paint with whichever side you want to do, okay? I'm going to use plastic palette knives. All right, my friends. Now I'm going to show you how to mix your medium to your paint, okay? I am going to do different color flowers this time just because I have one with a pink and brown. I think I want to do a blue, blue one and I don't know, 
I just haven't decided, so we're just gonna be surprised. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of paint. This one is getting to the empty point. And then I'm gonna take my palette knife and I'm gonna get a glop of medium and you can mix it together. You can do this for all your colors, but again, if you know me, you know I like to do it as I go along. So I'm just gonna glop and um, pour my paint as I go. That way, um, if I do that, I'm not letting my paints dry out. I'm using them as needed, okay? All right, guys, so let's get started. I've put a couple of colors in my palette, but I haven't mixed my medium into each color quite yet. But I have done this blue, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice big clump and I'm just gonna start spreading it around. You can hold it like this. And it does take a little bit of time to build up your paint. So do not be discouraged if it's flat. If you press it down really hard, it's gonna just scrape the paint off. So you wanna make sure you have a nice little level of paint in between. I'm also gonna use some light blue into my flower. You don't have to have this heavy gel medium, but it does help you use less paint. So if you want to do this project and you don't have a medium, you're just gonna use a bunch, a bunch of paint and that's okay. Um, it's fun. And I am just going for it. I'm making this pretty. Well, I hope it's pretty right now. It just looks like I'm smearing paint on a canvas. But it does take time for your picture to come together. So I think I might use a little bit of green. I have this really pretty green that I don't know if I've used yet. Oh, it's open, yay! This is one of like my favorite color green. And I'm gonna spread some of this green up in there too. If at any time you need to clean off your palette brush, your palette knife, haha, you just get it wet and just wipe it on a paper towel. And then you're ready to keep going. That way you can go back in and grab some more medium if you want and you can mix it up. The different size palette knives will give you a uh, different size paint um, application. So it just depends on what you're looking for. I like these um, thin lines, so I'm using my small thin brush. If you are using a plastic knife, you can still achieve the same effect. I am using the end of the plastic knife, not quite the end people normally use, but that is cool. So I'm just gonna keep building this up a little bit. And I'm doing a circular motion, almost like a spiral with different colors. You get to see how your colors are mixing. The fun thing about this medium is that it will dry and have a shimmer to it. So that's really fun. Now I kind of feel like the inside of my flower needs to have some yellow in it. So I'm gonna grab some yellow. Pour it in. I like to use just a little bit at a time. And I'm going to plop it on in there. I'm sure there's a more technical term than plop it, but plopping is, I feel, appropriate today. 
I think I'm gonna add some yellow within my flower just to help your eyes travel as you're painting. All right. As it dries, you can go back in and add some more color um, because as it dries, it dries stiff. So if you add some more color on top, that's gonna make it dry stiff and just add some more definition to your flower. All right, so that's my first flower. All right, guys, let's do that second flower. I am wiping off my plastic palette knife so I can get started. I think we're gonna do some pinks and purples for this one because why not? So first, haha, I need to get some medium. And I'm going to mix it on my plate. And then I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna keep going in that circular motion that I started with the first one. some purple. You'll see my colors start to blend, which is really fun. One of my favorite things to do in painting. Get some more medium for my purple. And again, how you hold your palette knife will depend on, um, will give you different results. So if I have more paint on the bottom, it's gonna come out. You don't wanna really have paint on the top unless you wanna flip it over. All right, so I've got a lot of purple going on, but not as much pink. You can also use white to help make things look more visually interesting. add a little bit yeah of this this color which is the Liquitex basic bright aqua green this is one of my favorite colors to paint with All right, so here are my two makeshift flowers. I may come back and add some more to it as we go along, but this is what we have so far. All righty, Rue, now let's work on this background a little bit and see what we can come up with. All right, so I've got some blues and greens and yellows, purples and pinks. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of yellows and browns for this leaf right up here. So for my base of my leaf, 
I'm just gonna do some spots of brown. Put some medium on here so I can make this brown a little bit thicker so that it stands up nice and tall. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to start adding some yellow. And I'm going to let the brown and the yellow blend together a little bit. white and you can make some circular motions to blend some colors together whatever you feel like doing now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna blend those colors to see what I can come up with. Do, do, do. Okay, let that set for a little bit. And I just noticed I have another line of blue to do for my flower. So I'm gonna wipe off my palette knife and I'm gonna go back in here with some of my dark blue from earlier. I'm just gonna extend my flower all the way up where my drawing had deemed it. If you're painting and um, your painting takes you a different way, you can always just paint over your lines. If you decide as you're going, eh, I want this flower to be ginormous, you can do that. This is your masterpiece. So it is however you want to create it. All right, and add some light blue all right here. Alrighty, Rue. I'm going to add a little bit of white, I think, up here. Why not? Right? Alright. So, I'm going to fix this flower so that it is going this way. And I'm going to add some of this aqua that I like so much. Let's just bring it together a little bit. <laughs> right. So. I'm letting this set up a little bit before I add on to it. So I am going to start on these leaves. I've got this really pretty dark teal that I'm going to be using. Get the medium off my palette knife. All right, well, I guess you can just stay then. And I am going to make this nice thick dark line. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. 
When I palette knife paint, I don't normally do the edges um, because then it just gets really messy, but you definitely can um, paint the edges of your canvas if that's what you want to do. But just know that I am not. Right. So here are these fun lines, and then I'm going to go, I'm just laying my palette knife down with paint. on those lines that I had coming from. All right, now I'm gonna go in there with some of this light green, but I want to clean this off. So I'm just gonna scrape the paint on the side, because I don't wanna waste it. I'm just gonna wipe my palette knife pretty much clean. If you need some water to wipe it a little bit more, dip it into your water cup, and now we can keep going. I am going to use this bright green right here that I hold near and dear to my heart and I am going to blend some of it together. Oh, it needs some medium. It's looking a little flat here. So this is going to look very fun and interesting. All right, so now I'm going to go back to my yellow and brown leaf and I'm going to work on that some more because it needs some more attention. So I'm using yellow. I'm just going to make my yellow bigger. of a medium with it. Bring some brown up in there. All right, so this is coming along. When you're painting with a palette knife, it's not gonna come out smooth and precise. You're gonna have a very um, painterly, um, abstract almost looking work of art but it's really, really fun to do. All right, so now I'm gonna get some dark green because I'm gonna start on these leaves right over here. And I don't have any dark green. Then I'm gonna grab some medium because I just cleaned off my palette knife. And we're going to mix some and we're gonna get started on this green leaf. So I am just going to 
start adding some paint. I'm going to have one right here. There's one right here. I'm going to add this green to my leaf for some dimension. Maybe even some yellow. It's fun to see how it blends. So this painting is really, really starting to just define movement. You can definitely see where my palette brush has been. Um, and this painting is full of movement. I'm going to do a leaf up here where my yellow and brown. So I am going to make up a leaf. My tablecloth is up in the way. Right there. I love the light green to it. And then I'm going to do another one whoop, right there where my paint slipped off. So now I'm going to come back to these, this guy, this guy, and this guy. I'm going to wipe off my palette knife and I'm going to use my light blue. And I am going to just kind of go around it in a fun motion just add some paint onto my background because right now we're working on background we've done our leaves we've done our flowers so now we're just continuing this bright background you can leave some white space in between if you want uh, so your colors don't mix you can work right up to it if that's what you want to do this is your masterpiece So anything goes. Maybe some more medium. going to use a little bit more yellow.
right, now I'm gonna go over here. I'm running out of that light blue. So I'm gonna look and see what else I have. I have this aqua on my plate. some more dark blue. We haven't used quite a lot of that over here. I want to do I think I'm going to bring some pink and purples down here just because we have some up here but we don't have a lot down here so I'm gonna wipe off the palette knife scoops some more medium mix it in with some of this pink and I'm just gonna bring some lines coming off of my flower So I'm getting towards the end of my palette knife painting and I don't want to waste um, any paint. I'm just going to use the paint that's left over on my palette. Going to use some more of this green. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which way you want to hold your palette knife to get the colors off where you want them to go. Sometimes I feel like I'm icing the cake. Don't eat it. I'm usually surprised at how my paintings look when I finish because um, they didn't turn out the way that I started out to, to do them, which is always fun. So I'm over here. Let's do some more.
right, let's see. I still feel like right here is a little bit empty. So I'm gonna go back and I am gonna add some more yellow because I've used pretty much all of my yellow. And I'm going to make this look a little bit cooler. And some white so I can make some different shades. And then I'm going to, I'm actually gonna use something different because that palette knife is all kinds of blue and green. So I'm gonna grab some medium, and this is my last bit, and then I think I'll be done. So I'm gonna go putting white on the tips. Using the back of a plastic knife right now. You can make art with all kinds of tools. some yellow and some medium. some brown at the bottom just for a little bit of dimension. All right, and there you have it. All right, guys, so that is the end of our palette knife painting project extraordinaire today. Um, this is the one that I showed you for an example, and this is the one that I just finished creating with you. You can use palette knives, plastic palette knives, or even in a pinch, you can use plastic knives. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions, share them with me. I am happy to respond and help you out. Once a teacher, always a teacher. Um, and if you like this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, share, and whatever else you do on YouTube, all right? Have a great day.